Survival Radio Network, and this is Paula G. And we are here at the Atlanta Film Festival, the Rialto Theater, for the screening of Confirmation. Standing here with me is the gentleman who is portraying Clarence Thomas. Welcome, Wendell Pierce. How Thank are you. you, sir? Very good. Very happy to be here. And we're so happy to have you. So tell us. Now, we, we all remember, we all remember this case. It's been about 25 years ago, yes. so we all remember this case. And you well, have had a wonderful career. Well, actually, we don't all remember it, and that's the <laughs> importance of uh, doing the film. Mm -hmm. You have to realize there's a whole generation, the millennials, yes. who know nothing about yes, uh, what people, uh, what happened, yes. uh, you know, during this period of time mm -hmm. to actually give them the protections that they now have and the companies that they work, the strong HR departments and uh, mm -hmm. the sexual harassment seminars that they have to go through and mm -hmm. um, the change in Congress of more women coming into Congress. It all happened because of this uh, very controversial event. 25 years ago. Um, now, as a result of portraying Clarence Thomas, was there something in the course of the film that you learned, in the course of filming the film that you learned that maybe you didn't know before? Uh, yeah, um, you know, it's, a, it's an open secret that uh, mm -hmm. he and I share opposite political views, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, while we know a lot about him in his, as his public figure, I knew very little about him as a personal, personal. figure, so he, he was like an enigma. Uh, and I came to the role with preconceived notions, I have to admit. And uh, I had an epiphany and realized it's not how little we had in common, it's how much we had in common. I, I have a family from Louisiana, African Americans living in the South for five generations from slavery through the violent times of Jim Crow and as farmers who put a premium on education. And that's exactly what uh, his family was. And so I found that curiously um, similar. Uh, my grandfather said, can't die three days before the creation of the world. Don't ever tell me you can't do anything. His grandfather said, can't is already dead. I helped to bury him. Don't ever tell me you can't do anything. So actually I found a commonality um, uh, that I didn't think I had with the justice. And so that really opened a window into uh, helping me portray him. Right. And what do you hope the audience will take away from this experience? I hope the audience uh, takes away two things. A reminder of how vigilant we have to be when it comes to gender equality. Uh, sexual harassment, uh, racism, that it's an ongoing thing. It's not something of the past that we have to be vigilant. This film should uh, help create that awareness, like lifting a veil off of one's eyes to see that we have to be vigilant about it. Secondly, it's a reminder, especially uh, after the tragic death of uh, Justice Scalia, that this is a great constitutional responsibility that the Senate and the President has of uh, appointing people to the Supreme Court, and it is something that we should never take lightly or uh, trivial, uh, and that is the thing that um, uh, uh, by kismet in this very uh, mournful time we are reminded of, and uh, it's just something that this film is the reason we do art. Right. It's where we as a community come together, reflect on who we are, what's important to us, where we've been, where we've failed, where we've succeeded, uh, declare what our values are and act on them. That's the role of art. And so that's what this film does. These are our values. This is our vigilance that we have to have. This is the important part of the Constitution that we always have to be vigilant about when we put somebody on a seat uh, that will affect people's lives for generations to come. Uh, to increase that awareness, how people, I hope people walk away with that and realize what personal journeys people went through so that all of us could have these uh, protections today. History making. History. 